One of the it's few so actually decent looking upcoming MMOs for fans of the genre. And while the game uh, with some new gameplay and information that recently came out is looking really darn good, it's been confirmed that it's no longer an MMO. Uh, what? Here I thought we'll get a good Black Desert sequel. So, uh, why does everyone in the game industry hate this genre of games? Why can't we just get more of these games? Anyways. Exactly. Why can't we get more MMOs in this era? I mean, the only good MMO that I have in mind is either, either WoW, which I can't play, and Ashes of Creation, which, which is about to release 10 years later, 5 years later. I don't know. I mean, don't shoot the messenger. See. I'm just here to share with you what we've learned. But again, I think the first part of my statement is, is definitely true. Crimson Desert looks really great. So when the game was first revealed uh, back in late 2019, the original pitch was that this was a new MMORPG from the makers of Black Desert Online. And while there are some things, some misgivings, if you will, about BDO, I think it's still by and large considered one of the top five best MMOs, at least here in the western markets and there's lots i have said this before but this is what i think about bdo bdo is a good game i think it's a good game for the action because of the combat mechanics it's so smooth it's just so enjoyable and it's more challenging and it's not boring unlike most unlike other mmos where you just you just stand there and cast some some fucking skills in bdo there's movement involved there's a lot of movement involved when you're trying to attack when you're trying to fight which i think is good the only problem with bdo i've said it most or again and again it's a grind fest the progression is too slow too fucking slow slower than warframe and you have to commit half of your life in playing it and you want to succeed in bdo and that's the reason why I dropped the game, because it, it, I don't have that much time. I have other things to do with my life. I don't make money out of BDO, so I have to stop. And I want to play other games as well, like Cyberpunk, Resident Evil, and those kind of shit. So why am I supposed to bother on a game wherein it would take half of my life for nothing? It's the people who've gotten lots of enjoyment out of that game, myself included. And Crimson Desert was appearing to take some of what they did with BDO and take it in a new, uh, refreshed direction. That first reveal trailer that we got opened up with a bunch of cinematic uh, combat sequences. They went through various shots of the game's landscapes, checking out towns, characters. And this kind of graphics would be downgraded. But if it were to be downgraded, I think it would still be good. We've seen for you, for those who have played Black Desert Online, I think you already know what kind of graphics Black Desert has, especially the remastered, the remastered one. So I think in terms of graphics and combat mechanics, I think we have we we don't have to be disappointed about it unless they do something shit and just destroy everything and, and it was pretty clear just from that initial trailer that the game was gonna have a uh, a focus on story well slowly we started to get some bits and information about the game it was left a little vague but they did say they wanted to feature this immersive single player campaign in addition to having traditional mmo content now exactly what that that meant like what was that traditional MMO content it was left a little unclear uh, the early footage gave us a sense that the action combat in the game was going to be somewhat similar to BDO in fact well, if it's going to be similar to BDO then I'm happy for it because the only thing that caught my attention with, with BDO is first is the graphics second is the combat mechanics it was so darn amazing I wish more MMOs try to adapt that kind of try to adopt that kind of combat mechanics wherein it's fast paced it's a lot, involves a lot of movement and it doesn't rely on hitting one two three four five six seven eight nine keys but there are button combination or input commands that you can use to quick cast certain skills that's what i like about bdo it's fast it's it has a lot of actions it's moves it's convenient and it's not just buttons it's not just smashing one key two key three key four key and all, all of the above 
no, there's input commands that you have to take you have to take into consideration and make your own kind of make your own combos when doing so. That's what I like. Whenever I play BDO, I feel like a fucking Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball. Since it's from the same company and it had a kind of similar look, we were assuming that there's going to be a lot in common with BDO, but with, again, that single player narrative focus. And there were rumors floating around, although I admittedly I don't know where they were coming from, but I was seeing rumors that there's there's going to actually be end game PVE in this game. Things like dungeons and raids, which is a clear game thing that uh, is missing from their other game, Black Desert. So it was a neat idea. You would have... Okay, let me get this straight. So this is going to... They're trying to take Genshin... Im, they're going to take the template of Genshin Impact and mix it with Black Desert. I mean, Genshin Impact is not an MMO. It's a single-player online game. And there's an endgame PvE, which is all the dungeons that you see in the map of Genshin Impact. That's what they're trying to do. Because in Black Desert, they lack dungeons. Black Desert lack dungeons. They don't have much PvP as well. It's all about grinding, which made which made the game so boring. It's all about grinding. It's all about That's it. That's all about it. I barely saw dungeons in Black Desert. Or just something that just destroys the fun out of an MMO. Because if I'm going to play an MMO, I want dungeons. I want just as many as much as PVE that I can find. And the grind shouldn't be so hard. The grind shouldn't be so hard. I think... I don't think this is actually bad. That the root of Crimson Desert is not actually bad. I think they're doing something good about it. Since they don't have PvP, they took it away. Since and and the Black Desert has no PV, PvP, it lacks dungeons, so they took PvP away and added more PvE, which is a good thing. There's endgame content, and I hope once they release Crimson Desert, they'll be updating it like hell. Have this MMO that did have a story focus, but was still an MMO, and was also potentially gonna have more of the basic traditional MMO end game content that a lot of us expect from the genre. And we knew finally that the game was being made for both PC and consoles. And originally, both they... PC and consoles. I wish there's, um, would say cross cross platform play. I want a cross platform play so I could play with my friends who are playing in PS4 and Xbox said there was a beta planned for some time in 2020. Well, we're just a couple days away from the close of 2020. A beta hasn't come, but a couple weeks ago, we got a bunch of new information, including some more gameplay for Crimson Desert. So lots of cinematic shots of various biomes. We see things like mountains covered in snow. There are forests, plains, deserts, plenty of what look to be cutscenes with the main character and uh, what is his party of mercenaries. There are villages chock full of NPCs. We see some horse riding. We see our, the main character stepping into these ruins and being transported to another dimension. And then there's a bunch. Let me guess. That that's those stones. NPCs. We see are the dungeon entry gate. Right? See some horse riding. We see. Look at that. Look at see that. Some horse riding. Look at this. The desert feels more alive than ever compared to black deserts. Black desert. But we shouldn't be expecting too much. This graphics will be downgraded or perhaps be improved on the release. And I hope they do a good job this time. Because if this game turns out to be good, I'm going to be buying it. Hiding. We see our the main character stepping into these ruins and being transported to another dimension. And then there's a bunch of actual combat footage. Again, no UI and not actual, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's, again, it's flashy. There's a clear melee focus. Uh, the, it's an action combat. System. Yeah, they definitely took the Black Desert combat mechanics template and then they added it into this game. Now I want to see the skills. System with apparently all sorts of combo potentials. Oh like my we goodness, see those are combos. Walking, dodging. Look at the particles. This could fry your PC. Being parries, counterattacks, shoves and kicks. There are takedowns and finishers. We see a bunch of different weapon types. Ooh. Like there's a sword and shield, a two-handed axe, a bow is used. And just in general, it looks to be very reminiscent to Black Desert. 
I think they toned down the action here, especially the characters. I don't see the Bers the Berserker. I, could I don't see the Nova. I don't see the Dark Knight. I hope they add those kinds of characters in this game. I just hope. And I hope this won't be another gacha game, since they're going to take the template of Genshin Impact and put it here. Online, in fact, I think it's worth noting, originally, originally, Crimson Desert was supposed to be a prequel to BDO. And oh, okay, now it makes sense why they toned down the action. No, so much, there's not much mag magic, there's not much action, there's not much ability, it's just pure combos. Then they said it was a spin-off, but still an MMO with a story focused. And now, as we're going to get to in a moment, <clears throat> it's apparently just not an MMO. Uh, we see some minimalistic health bars in there, and like a yeah, they still had that RPG. A bunch of different takedowns. Apparently, they took a lot of inspiration in this game from just wrestling, and so we see like suplexes and drops and leg kicks, just all sorts of stuff. Yeah, all they're very, very conventional. It's too much martial arts. There isn't much magic or abilities. Also, the uh, enemies uh, used as grabs. We didn't have those in Black Desert. The shield. So pretty cool. Lots of bits and pieces of the game's combat. And again, I think it looked really good. And beyond the combat, we also got a glimpse into some of the various systems and things that could be done in the game. We see some sort of Wait, a tracking system. We see traversing of this invisible bridge. There's some puzzle solving, the mounting of a dragon, some rope swings. Mounting of a dragon. Did I hear that right? That's, that's nice. I hope it's... That's really nice. I want that. Wait a minute, I'll just get my phone. I think I got it. As I'm climbing, we see fights with wildlife. There's a bunch of different kind of boss fights in there as well. And we also see what appears to be a castle siege castle and finally siege. flying a dragon. The trailer Ooh, really got well, me pumped nice. to see Crimson Desert. I just hope that you live up to this expectation that they the gave MMO. us. But, but, but along with the release of this video uh, came an updated description of exactly what the game is. And for anyone like myself who was hoping it was going to be the next big MMO from the creators of Black Desert, yeah, the news is not good. <laughs> Wait, so what? what is it exactly? Well, currently the game is described by the developer as an open world action adventure that combines elements of narrative driven single player games with online multiplayer functionality. Built on Pearl Abyss's proprietary next gen engine, Crimson Desert will deliver high fidelity graphics and game features and a highly immersive gameplay experience. A story of survival, Crimson Desert follows a group of struggling mercenaries and the many characters who cross their paths in a vast open world. So this is an open world world action adventure game with some multiplayer functionality this is the official description they're really going for that genshin impact approach i don't know why they think about how how they were able to sort about this but it doesn't sound good at all at all it doesn't really sound good at all i mean what's the multiplayer function is it dungeon like what Genshin Impact does? That the, the only multiplier function functions there is a four four man party exploration and dungeons as well. Is that what Genshin Impact is to be? It's going to be. I mean, is that what Black Desert is trying to do? From the developer themselves, this is what's seen on the latest uploaded videos. And again, you will notice there is no more mention of the word MMO, MMORPG. Yep, it's it's no just not in MMO. there. All we see is online multiplayer. But that's all like super solid ground to confirm that this is not an MMO. So there's a few more things I should mention. So the first few videos that came out and literally they are still uploaded on their official channel unchanged in the description of the first few videos. It was called called an upcoming MMORPG from the creators of BDO. What? Now, all of the recent trailers, there's not a single mention of MMO or any variation of MMO in it. But there's more. There's also no longer any mention of MMO on their official website, which there used to be. And then finally, we got 
some interviews with the game's producers that has confirmed the game's shift in genre and focus. The game genre still causes me some concern. In the past, it has been said, we will show you what the next generation MMORPG is. But there have been many concerns about the direction of production ever since. Finally, I had to make a decision about what we want to show in Crimson Desert and what kind of product we want to deliver and what aspects of multiplayer mode and learning we can import from Black Desert. The Crimson Desert that we designed has to focus more on the main adventure experience and less on the dispersion caused by today's MMORPG model. If they're going to focus on adventure, they have to make sure that there's a lot of content in the map. There's a lot of content in the game. There's a lot of exploration to do. More dungeons. Basically, more dungeons, more loot, more loot, more equipment, and variety of, of weapons and equipment, as I said. That's what we want from a single player, more open world game that focuses on adventure and exploration. I don't want this to fall like Anthem. The multiplayer mode will not be activated permanently, but if the player wants to play together, this will be possible. One of the game's other producers followed that up in saying this, and if you think about it, this is not the end of the world. On the contrary, you will accompany Mac Duff, that's the main character in this game, on a journey through a vast open world. Crimson Desert is a game with great multiplayer aspects where the player can invite a friend or play with others in the community. So, it's not an MMO, there will be multiplayer co-op elements to the game, but there's still a lot unclear about how exactly that's going to work. Is it just co-op within the, the narrative uh, single-player story-driven campaign, or is it going to be some co-op endgame activities? Because we do know there are going to be things uh, akin to dungeons in this game, but I don't know if they're like Holy Trinity required dungeons, or just dungeon crawling in any old single-player RPG like Skyrim. Like I go into dungeons in Skyrim, but we're not going to call that game an MMO either. So as you can see, it's still pretty damn vague as to how exactly this co-op multiplayer uh, working with other people within the game how exactly is it going to work? They still have not really been specific about it, but we do at least know for sure that it has changed enough that they are just, they're no longer calling it an MMO, an MMORPG, no variation of massive multiplayer. They're just calling it a game with, uh, it's an open world action adventure game with uh, online multiplayer. So it's not going to have quite the massive, and, and you know, this is a company familiar with what it means for a game to be an MMO because they they're the ones who've made black desert it's again whether you love it or hate it it's still unarguably one of the bigger more successful active mmos in the market right now so they know what, right. an, what an mmo is they know what it means for a game to be an mmo so much so that they said that this is no longer an mmo but will have elements of M it's freaking just take a shot every time i say mmo in this video beyond the uh the news that this game has shifted and i just gotta say to touch on this quickly i don't necessarily think this is a bad thing like i think it, it could be cool to have this open world action adventure game this game could either make or break pearl abyss if they pull this off good it's successful if they pull this off bad they're straight down the gutter from the creators of bdo but just have some 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 sort of optional multiplayer within it or some multiplayer activities in the end game or whatever the hell it ends up being because we don't know because they're still super vague i don't think that's a bad thing in fact i mostly played black desert online solo and i freaking loved it i know that game gets shit on a lot i know there's some predatory shit within their like cash shop the fact that you feel like you need yeah. to buy a bunch of pets or certain costumes True. for pvp or Can't being able to that. buy to constantly afford the shark failing to upgrade your weapons and gear whatever you know I realize the game's got some problems but at its core like it's like there's a good game there if you could pull that predatory junk out of it I have yes. no doubt game this game could have been better if they remove that predatory shit on the game it would have been more successful <laughs> the game is not free it's not free to play I bought that game on Steam so what the fuck are they trying to do
out that they can make a good fun game to play that I would enjoy I do wish they would take another shot at MMOs but maybe maybe what's the point if they already have BDO and the game's still going well enough and it's still fairly successful by all accounts it is maybe that's the other part part of this coin that they, they, they didn't want to cannibalize their own player base in BDO that's probably I probably just answered the freaking question there we go yeah they don't want to cannibalize their player base in BDO so this is more of a single player game with some multiplayer elements there was a bunch of other developer info that came through beyond the game play video that came out at the game awards they released a few other videos with commentary on the gameplay video and this shed some more light on some of the things they're doing with crimson desert they said they want to focus on things that they never tried before really kind of emphasize you mean no predatory shit because that's the thing that you've never tried before if you did that if polar beast did that I'll be happy. The adventuring and exploration of the world. And in part, in doing this, they focused on making sure like big landmarks and points of interest would be visible from afar. So things like those snow-capped mountains you see in the distance as to naturally draw players to a move in that direction. Uh, a lot of work also went into the visuals. That was pretty clear from both trailers we've seen. They've got things like these volumetric clouds during sunrise and sunset. They really focused- The graphics is really good. This is look like a modded Skyrim. So I'm making sure they had proper lighting throughout the day and the lighting looks freaking good. And they said things, this was funny. Look they at that. Breathtaking. It's really, really well done. And they said things, this was funny. They said even blades of grass should be visible from afar. That is hilarious to anyone who plays Black Desert because one of the things that game is notorious for is just horrendous popping, like things 10 meters in front of you just popping up out of nowhere just because the game's rendering distance is so very small. Yep, so I guess I they're saying here, well. you're going to see blades of grass from afar, everybody. Good, great, fantastic. Maybe I don't think that's really a good idea. That's just very... It would destroy your PC. It will destroy your PC. I don't think they could pull that off. Leaves of grass from far distance. I think very, very few games that I could count... That we could count with our fingers could actually pull that off at maximum settings, okay? At maximum settings. Only very few games are able to do that. And you can count them. And I don't know which of them, but... I think there's out there, but most probably there's no game that actually was, was actually able to pull that off. Right now, this feels like Cyberpunk 2077. The gra no, I don't think Crimson Desert will be able to pull that off. But if they were able to pull that off, then it's a good thing. Now, what, the only thing that I'm going to be asking about when they were able to pull that off, great blades of grass showing from afar, is the performance. How will it, how will it run? And how will it affect your PC and your console? Maybe no pop in in Crimson Desert. They said the story of Crimson Desert revolves around this character named Mac Duff. Mac, M-A-C-D-U-F-F. -F. Mac Duff is his, okay. Who hails from the lands known as Quiden. Mac Duff's heritage is a major source of conflict in the game. They say players will come across villages packed with NPCs that you can talk to, hear their stories, and try to resolve their issues. One of the strong points of Black Desert they should make they should make sure that the npcs feel more alive they shouldn't act like robots this is a single player game you have to make sure that the world feels alive especially through the npcs like what witcher 3 does online is there was a lot of npcs to talk to and they, and they should other than just main quests they should add shit tons of sub quests side quests should i say to make the game more replayable. I mean, I'm going I'm going out there, grinding gear, getting the best gear for what? For aesthetics? No, I want to use that gear to destroy something even bigger. They also went about their daily activities. Like it was, the game really felt lived in. Like these, the NPCs were actual characters with their own lives and direction and, and, and desires and all that stuff. They say the game's gonna have fishing as well as horse riding and other activities. Fishing. I'm getting flashbacks. Pass the time. And they say that the dungeons in the game are unlike any other place where basically you enter, we saw this in the trailer, the character enters through these ruins and they get, it's like this portal to another dimension. Time is dis, dis, uh, time is distorted and you're transported somewhere else. It looks pretty darn cool, their kind of take on how dungeons will work. They touched on how the combat with it, they're trying to create. What okay, that animation, that intro to a dungeon is really, really cool. I like that, but 
they're saying is the Why most engaging so melee combat system possible. You can have one on one. It looks like Assassin's Creed's labyrinth and Genshin Impact's dungeons. The fights are stones, pillars, like some ancient, like some ancient technology shit, or ancient advanced, a very advanced ancient civilization kind of concept, which is from Assassin's Creed. We've seen, we've seen that repeatedly, and in Genshin Impact, it feels like that as well take down groups of enemies and they constantly were asking themselves in developing this combat system if it was both realistic i was kind of disappointed with how the dungeon looked i hope there's a variety of it a variety of it like what they did with What's the game again something with dragon no that dragon slayer no dragon is it dragon quest yes oh it's dragoness dragoness this game Wherein there's a much more variety in the dungeons. Wherein you're you're not exploring lab, you're not just exploring labyrinths. You're exploring areas. Stick, but that's also fun to play. Goes. Like uh, characters. And the boss fights should be challenging. Should be enjoyable, not just some kind of button smashing shit. Can drop their weapons, and these can also be picked up off the ground. There will be things like guard breaks, grappling, and all sorts of wrestling. Guard breaks and grappling moves we saw a lot of that in the sounds familiar trailer you can grab enemies to use them as a shield and they say they also took inspiration from taekwondo including certain kick techniques uh, from that martial art uh there will be all uh, well, it makes sense i think for all of this it's a korean company right all sorts of puzzles and mysteries wrong. to uncover we saw that in the invisible bridge and that rune Whoa, matching really? uh, pressure plate game uh environmental Traversal, like rope swinging and scaling ledges, which we saw. And they mentioned here, this is really cool, that in defeating bosses, you will learn their techniques. So we saw a glimpse of this like lightning wielding monster. And then uh, once wow. they're defeated, you gain access to wield the lightning. It's really? like a curb. If that's what boss fight, if that's the reward of all the boss fights you'll be taking, you'll be fighting. Why not? Be style system, which I think is pretty darn dope. And that is basically it. Those are the official bits of information. That is a wrap up of the confirmation, basically. Sorry, I think the mic was mute. Okay, as I was saying, let's go back. I mean, let's just go back. Says to wield the lightning. It's like a Kirby style system, which I think is pretty darn dope. And that is basically it those are the official bits of information that is a wrap up of the confirmation basically that this game is not an mmo I, while i'm disappointed that there is a genre change i think i get it like i mentioned halfway through here they probably don't want to cannibalize their own player base in black desert by releasing a near identical game so they're going to make this hey this is their single player focus game there will be some co-op multiplayer elements but don't expect it to replace bdo because they don't need to replace BTO. It really is. It's like the top five. There's like WoW, ESO, Final Fantasy 14, Guild Wars 2, and BTO. The you basically don't, they basically, yes, don't. Yes, they don't basically have to replace BTO. They don't have to. All they need to do is to fix their damn game. How do they do that? Remove the predator and shit. Make sure their progression is more forgiving for people who don't have that much time to play the game because the game is for fucking better. The game is only for those who are really, really committed in playing it. Those who are willing to do anything to play it. Which I can't do because I don't have much time in my hands. Just be in the end. Be more forgiving with the progression. That's how it goes. Those are the big MMOs that everyone talks about, everyone plays, at least in the spheres in which I play and read about gaming stuff. Like, those are the- that's the big five. You got a game in the big five of MMOs, um, why would you try to replace it with a new one? I mean, it's the same reason WoW 2 isn't getting released in the next 10 years. Because WoW is still massively successful, so they're not going to replace it. Anyways, we're just- Basically, if you want a sequel for an MMO, just- the, the player base should just quit. Player base should just, should just quit the fucking game. But all of that, and as much as I'm an MMO fanboy and would have loved to see them try something new, different, whatever, I think this ad just looks pretty good. Like, and depending on how heavily they lean into the co-op multiplayer elements, even though it might not be an MMO in the traditional sense, they have dungeons, maybe they do have raid equivalents that you can team up with people. Like, okay, you're playing this character who has a band of mercenaries with you or as part of your adventuring. What if there's like end game dungeon equivalents where you replace your band of mercenaries with other real players 
boom. This might not be an MMO, but there could be some of the, the core aspects of MMOs that we still enjoy. Like maybe you're not going to see a thousand people farming frogs in the wetlands here in Crimson yep. Desert uh, <laughs> to try to get their uh, their witch's earring or whatever the shit. But, yep. but you could still have some of those aspects of MMOs that you enjoy, and maybe they do bring that stuff to uh, Crimson Desert. That's basically the dumbest thing about BDO. Farming frogs for a fucking Yuri? We don't want that. I'd rather kill monsters than doing so. Maybe, who knows? We don't know. They're still super vague about so much. Because that's, that's the entire, that's one of the biggest pros of BDO. The combat is enjoyable. If the combat is enjoyable, then we have to make sure that the grind is not based on life skills, but rather on killing monsters. So, anywho, uh, that is it. And yeah, thank you guys for and watching. This, and fishing and farming should just be something. An, a, a additional content if you want to make more money other than just being an adventurer I hope you enjoyed the video a little recap on what crimson desert is and what it is not i'm still looking forward to learning more about this game please be less vague and and also when is this thing coming out who knows i guess if it's a single player game maybe it does come out next year right who, i don't anyways. think it's next thank year. you for watching hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time I don't think it's going to be next year i'm presuming that this game is going to be huge like gta 5 kind of level a very big map like Witcher 3, more contents, more dungeons, more explorations, more discovery, more discoveries. It's going to take at least 10 years like, or 5 years or 7 years to, to release this. Next year won't be the new release date. You'll have to refine this game to perfection in order for it to be really, really successful.